From unusually extreme weather, to crippling heat waves, to changing water levels, climate change can't be ignored. What risks does a changing environment pose for the real estate industry? Definitely flooding is going to affect a lot of real estate. And, you know, it's not just places that are in wet, what used to be wetlands it's or shorelines. You know, if you're in an urban environment where you have a lot of asphalt, um, whether it's on roads, parking lots, roofs, you're going to get rapid runoff. And if you have a storm that dumps 10 inches of rain in 24 hours, you know, you're going to have flooding whether or not you're in the floodplain. So you're going to have to, we're going to have to design buildings that take that into account. Hurricane Ida is a prime example of what sort of weather experts think we'll be facing into the future. Ida hit Louisiana as a category four hurricane, made its way up inland and caused massive damage in the tri-state area. A total of 82 lives were lost and unprecedented flooding has had lasting effects. Millions in the storm's path lost electricity for days on end. In the Northeast alone, flooding from Hurricane Ida has caused up to $24 billion in property damage. Just an inch of flood water can cost $25,000 in damage to a home. Water levels are steadily rising in some areas and receding in others. This Pew Trust map shows all the regions on Earth that are gaining and losing water. Just about everywhere, levels are fluctuating, and often alarmingly. Both in the United States and in countries around the world, wildfires have ravaged homes and forests this summer. In California, nearly 2 million acres have been burnt by wildfires in this year alone, with over 3,000 structures damaged or destroyed and wildfire season is far from over. All of these things are going to have tangible impacts on the real estate industry. There is massive amounts of building that has gone on in what we call the wildland urban interface. That is, you know, all the mountain foothills and coastal valleys and so forth that are risky for fire. And fires are going to get more pronounced. Um, you know, all the modeling tells us that. Um, the, the landscape's going to be drier, winds may be more intense, um, may have more lightning storms. So, you know, that's all at risk. Um, any floodplain area is going to be at greater risk because storms are going to be um, more intense. We're going to get more rainfall in shorter periods of time. Check back soon for our next video on how developers can keep up with the changing climate.